Hi everybody, Randy Richard in the shop. I started a new project the other day, kind of in between everything. I started making a spindle guard net for the nose of my spindle on my lathe. It's a threaded spindle, two and a quarter by eight TPI. I'm gonna make this nut out of a 1018, three inch diameter stock. So first I'm gonna be making the uh, gauge. So I'm going to duplicate my spindle. I need a gauge so I can test the nut on something as I'm going along. Measuring internal threads is really a pain and I really don't have the right stuff to do that. But I can measure external threads uh, pretty easily. So I'm going to make a gauge first and that's what this video will show. The video is kind of long. A lot of threading going on. I didn't speed through it. Uh, just in case somebody really wants to watch the whole thing. Uh, probably my next threading stuff, I'll probably speed through them. But this one I'll leave full length, uh, pretty much. So, you have the turning down and the threading of the gauge. I This is where I kind of screwed up, is that I lost the video of the overhead of the threading part, which kind of bummed me out because it really came out good. And because of memory issues and too many videos on my devices and being able to juggle those around I ended up losing those. So I'm working on getting things straightened out uh, as far as the videos go and memory and storage and things. So that's where we're going to go here today is show you the the turning down and the threading of the gauge and the little Got the, I got some still pictures of the gauge on the tail end of the, all this, so uh, the gauge came out good. And then we'll get to the nut, we'll get this video off the machine devices and then get to the nut uh, and get it done. I've already started on the nut, so just to give you an update, but I have video of that. So Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, if you want to zip through some of the slow stuff, if you're pretty familiar with that, then that's great. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good video still, though. So, thanks a lot uh, for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. I just can't believe how much uh, and the good comments that I get about everything. And thanks for the, even the comments that uh, criticize me. <laughs> uh, I don't really mind it at all. It, it's uh, some of the stuff I learned from. So, you know, some of... The, some things I think uh, most viewers need to remember or think about is that these videos aren't, you know, put up the day the stuff was made. You know, it might be a week even or so uh, in between the video and when it was made. So, you know, there's, there's things that transpire that you might not always be aware of. Um, so, but still, I enjoy the comments uh, and I try to... I do read, I should say. I don't try to. I do. I read every single comment. And I try to respond to every single comment. So, uh, please uh, subscribe, share it. Share it with other friends. Uh, th it means a lot to me. Uh, and I think it means a lot to people. Uh, I think I made a mention of one back backpacking video there I did of our little vacation. And... I understand there's a lot of disabled folks out there, uh, uh, veterans, especially uh, my daughter's a disabled veteran. And so I uh, am doing a lot of this for them so they can see stuff that maybe they won't ever get to see or they used to be able to go and do and they can't do anymore. So a lot of the stuff I'm doing is for that, uh, just to show and help people out. To show people some stuff that I do, uh, I have a do I do do a lot of projects, uh, so I wish I could get everything on video, but I don't necessarily get everything. So I'm just trying, but I thank you all for watching and sticking with it. So let's get to uh, making this gauge. Came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. So thank you. Okay, I'm going to get some measurements on my spindle here because I'm going to make a nut to cover this when I'm using my collet uh, attachment. I'm going to use a three-wire method to measure this. 
and this is one way I found works pretty good. I take a piece of foam, stick the wires in, you know, about where they're going to need to be, so I can hold it up there. I get the wires in the uh, thread. Now I'm going to, this is kind of hard to show you how to do this really because I'm going to be in the way of the camera, but get my hands under there. method it is kind of a pain but it's pretty accurate so really what I want to know is what class of thread did they build this to I'm pretty sure it's just a 2a because everything fits pretty pretty easily all my chuck stuff um, fits on there pretty easily Okay, I'm at 2.271, and uh, calculating that out, use a little little chart. Comes with the pins. I used uh, 0 0.072 pins for eight TPI. I have a constant of point. 10775 subtract that from my reading and I get uh, two point at two point one sixty three two five and that falls right in between the maximum and minimum pitch diameters for a two A. Max is two point one two point one six six four and the minimum is two point one five eight four. So one sixty three it's right in the middle. So we're going to shoot for that when we make the the, the, exter, the external thread uh, plug gauge. So that's what we're, uh, I had all this stuff written down here out of the machinery handbook. This stuff, all the info. So we'll get to work on the, on the gauge. Okay, we're down to size on the largest diameter. We have to go down to 2.285 for 1.1 inches in. I've already marked it. So I got about 300,000 rough cut to do off the total. Oh, I'm slow that down. We're going to be back here, uh, 250 RPM. It's a uh, 7,000 total cut. I'm going to speed that up a little bit.
cutting it 3.1 thousandths per rev. Try it at eighty thousand total. Around. And there, put your hands in there. Good measurement. We're at 2.381. Another 81. Another 80. Uh, so, do that again.
This diameter is one of the registration uh, for the chuck, so I'm going to probably let this cool off before I do the final cut on it. Two point three oh three. So I'm at three oh three, I need to be uh point two eighty five. So eighteen thousand. So I'm gonna let that cool off before I do that final cut. Okay, we're all uh set here to cut this next diameter down to two and a quarter up to the line I marked. That was three hundred and eighty thousandths out from the shoulder so let's do it you don't have to take off very much about 35 thousandths total we'll do it in a couple cuts We're at 267. 267. Can't even see that, can you? It glares too much. So, uh, 17 more.
250 on the money okay we're set up to cut the threads eight threads per inch two and a quarter diameter double depth of thread is 0.162 so one way on the dial is going to be 81 now it could be as low as 76 81 it could be hot so it, it's going to be in some of there it's a class 2a fit I'll use my three dot chuck to test it and we'll use the three wire method to get a measure uh, to get a measurement on it as we go along and it's only going to be about three quarters of an inch here so not not too many it's only like six threads so let's get going on I'm already uh, set up with my tool bit 60 degree tool bit squared up against the piece and we're, we're all set, good to go. Let's do a scratch. ATPI, right on the money. When you use the old dashboard method, what I did is I preset this to 81, so I'm counting down to zero on the dashboard gauge here. That way I won't lose track. Works pretty good method. I actually do a fair amount of threading on the lathe, making bolts and studs and stuff. And I really actually like doing it on the lathe. You can make yourself some nice stuff that way. I'm running at 65 RPM, bad gear. We have about 50,000 more to go.
some more oil in my can. I started off with about 10,000 depth of cut, and then eased it to about five and six. Now I'm back down down to about 3,000 depth of cut. That's going to be a pretty heavy load uh, for the lathe and tool bit. I'm just using a high speed bit. I don't have a car by one that really quite reach that deep. I use the car by one quite a bit for the smaller stuff. We do a spring pass here. Every four or five cuts I'll do a spring. Cutting down to about two thousandths now. Now it's two thousandths on my dashboard gauge, not on my dial. Spring cut. Pop my belt. Cut it down to one to one and a half thousand per pass. And make sure you come out far enough on these deep threads. Sometimes it takes more than a turn even.
Make sure you clear them. We had the 20,000 left to go. Down to 10,000 left. The spring pass. Five thousand left.
and we're right at zero, my uh, 81. So we'll do a measurement after a couple cuts here. We'll do this cut and then we'll do a couple springs. more spring cut. threads there. Okay, I measured it with the pins and uh, about 20,000 shy of the pitch diameter. So we'll take a couple more cuts. And I tested my chuck. It gets started, but not quite yet. So, a couple more cuts in it. Do another measurement. I need you to be at 2.163 pitch diameter. I'm at 2177. So, a few more cuts. Taking this game easy because uh, I only want to do this once.
another measurement. Okay, we're almost there. So we're at just a couple thousandths away. Truck screwed on 75% away. So just a couple light cuts. Should do it. We'll give it another measurement. That was one cut and a spring cut. Okay, measurements look good. I was shooting for uh, the same as my spindle would have been a pitch diameter 2.163. I'm at 2.1645, So I mean 164. So right in there. So I'm within a thousand. 2.166 is the max for the 2A class fit. So, and my chuck fits really just nice, really nice. Spins right on all the way up to register just like nothing. Almost, not quite, almost zero play in the thread. It, it, it fits better than the spindle. So, <laughs> that's, a, that's a perfect fit. Now it's under too tight. But. So, little, little, uh, maybe run a little sandpaper on there just to take those sharp edges off. sandpaper take some of these sharp edges and uh, we'll call it good and um, I'm probably just gonna take the bandsaw cut that off maybe I'll chuck it up and face it and then make a nice tool out of it so we'll keep it around for a long time but it came out really nice so that's where we'll call it a wrap then we'll be uh, making our nut we have uh, something to test it on good gauge all right, thanks.